you doing today? I hope you're having a nice day so far. I am. It's very warm again, but maybe not as warm as yesterday. Um, I hope you've been doing lots of fun activities today. How is your bee coming along? I hope you can send a picture of it when you've finished. You'll have to start doing some for our school, for our um, garden as well, won't you? And we can put little flowers in them. Look very, very clever. I hope you've been enjoying the sun as well. Well, not sure. I'm filming this the day before. So it might have, the thunderstorms might have reached us. I don't know. It doesn't look like it though. Not, not from where I'm sitting anyway. <laughs> right, okay, I'm just babbling on. Um, today, we're going to have a look at some yes, no questions and I'd like you to read them and answer yes or no. And then we're going to look at um, spelling our days of the week again and we're going to look at spelling some more months of the year and guess what? These ones are easy peasy. We've done all the tricky ones. They were they were terrible, weren't they? January, February. March was okay though. We could sound out March. And then I've got uh, a sentence for you to read and then a teeny tiny sentence for you to write. It's one, two, three, four, five words. You can write five words, can't you? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, we will start first with our trick, not tricky words, our yes, no questions. So I've got a yes and I've got a no. So I know if you don't want to say yes or no, what if I hold the question up and then you can point to the answer so you can point to yes or point to no. Or should I put them? Should I put them underneath? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Look at me, I'm an interactive game. <laughs> right, should we read the first one together? Are fish and chips food? Yes, fish and chips are food, aren't they? Maybe I should put yes and no over here. Or over there, and then I'll put the question there. I'm designing a, an interactive game, Jenny. You've got to bear with me. There we go. Wait, no. <laughs> this way around. <laughs> it's because the camera's mirrored. There we go. Now, this one's going to have to be up to you. You're the one with the chicken knowledge. Can a chicken sit on a chair? Mm, not sure. It could perch on a chair, I suppose. I'll leave that one to you. Is it dark at night? Yeah. Not really at the moment, though, is it? It's quite light when you're going to bed. Is the moon far off? We can't walk there in a hurry, can we? Are the teeth of a shark sharp? Very, very sharp. I should think it is, is rain wet? Can you hear bees buzzing now? I can, you might be able to though. fingers as long as arms that would be absolutely terrifying wouldn't it no
can a coach zoom in the air? Depends how big the car is. Will all shops sell nails? Can you think of a shop that will sell nails? I need some nails. One of my cupboards is falling apart. Is a from a sheep that's where wool comes from it comes from the sheep's the sheep's fur can a hammer chop wood Will a ship sail on a road? Last one. Can coins sing a song? Well done. Those were some funny ones, weren't they? They're very funny. Good reading. Right, let's have a look now. Can, have you got your whiteboard and your pen? I wonder if you can help me write the days of the week. So I'm going to write them. You don't have to write for the time being. I'm going to write them, but sometimes I might get stuck on what letter comes next. So I like you to shout as loud as you can so I can hear you, okay? So I'm going to write Monday. I've got my capital M for Monday. Mm, and I know it wasn't an O, because that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? It's an O. Mon. Oh, what's the next letter? Mm. D. A. What's next? Monday. Right, Tuesday. What letter did Tuesday start with? It was a capital, wasn't it? It was a capital T. Then we had an O oh, and an F that made the U sound. Tu, tu day. No, choose, choose day. What letter do I need? S, choose, day. Oh, I'm good at writing day. That's an easy one, day, right. Wednesday. Hmm. Wed Ness Day. Capital W. Wed. Wed Ness. Ness. Wed Ness Day. I know how to write day. A D, an A, and a Y. Well done. Thursday, what two letters make that sound? A T, or a capital T, and a H. What two letters make the er uh sound? And up and a brr. The S. Day, I know how to write day. It's in all of these words. Friday. Capital F. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How do I write sat? Sat. Uh, it's er uh again, the same as Thursday. Uh, day. A d, an a, and a y. And last one is Sunday. How do I write sun? Do a capital S. And oh. And a n sun day. I can write day. A d, an a, and a y. Well done. Thank you for helping me write those days of the week. Now let's have a look at our months of the year. So, can we together write January, February, March? Can we do it together as a team? So January starts with a j but we write it as a capital J. You know how to do one of those, don't you? Jan. Jan, can you write Jan? I used to have a friend called Jan. Jan. You and O. A. R. E. January. Now, February was a bit tricky, wasn't it? So we do a capital F. Feb. Can you write Feb? Feb. Now, instead of oo, we have roo. Roo. And then we add arry. Arry. Well done. Now, I wonder if you can write March. A capital M. Start the car. R and a ch. Well done. Now for April, instead of our a spelling of A, we have a capital A, like Ava. So we go like that. Can you do a capital A like Ava? So we've done A. Ape. 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 Rrr. Rrr. Ape. Rrr. I. Oh, April. That's okay, isn't it? Now, May. May rhymes with day. We know how to write day, don't we? Did you know May is just day with a capital M, with a M mm instead of a D. So we do a capital M. And we do the A of day, just like that. And then last one, June. June has a capital J, just like January, just like Jenny, just like Jan. J. And then we have an O, a N, and a silent E on the end. June, well done. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we'll carry on with those in the next few days. Well done, Jenny. Did you manage to write them all? Good girl. Okay, we've nearly finished. So, I'm going to write a sentence for you to read. And then... I've got a very, very tiny short one for you to write, okay?
Okay, can you read the sentence for me? Hang on. <laughs> okay. Should we read it together? The Easter Bunny visits us in March and April. Well done. Are you ready for your teeny tiny sentence? Okay. The sentence is, it is hot in June. is hot in June and remember June has that um, silent e eh on the end doesn't it it is hot in June okay are you finished Let's have a look at mine well done really good job Jenny I am so impressed with you good girl right that's all we've got time for for today but I will see you tomorrow and we will do some more phonics and we'll do some more months of the year and it's really exciting tomorrow's because it's July and my birthday's in July okay thank you for joining me I'll see you again tomorrow bye